three critical things you need to get a client to buy. And it's not closing. I'm Jay Kingley, the CEO of Maven. Ask a consultant how good they are at bringing in new clients, and they'll tell you about how good they are at closing. But closing is just the final step in the buying process. And if you do everything else correctly, it's the easiest. Consultants, coaches, and fractional executives who are the best at bringing in new business are those that don't have to close. Instead, their prospects ask them, if they can buy. There are three critical things you have to do to turn prospects into clients and closing isn't on the list. Number one, own the buying process. The first step is to own the buying process. Many years ago, when I first took on responsibility for bringing in new clients for the consulting firm I was with, a senior partner gave me this pearl of wisdom. You own your buying process, but your prospect owns their decision. I have every right to insist that the prospects I engage follow my process on the journey to becoming my client. If they don't like my process, then they can buy elsewhere. However, for those who follow my process, I must respect the decision they make. If they say no or not now, I wish them well. I don't tell them that they are making a mistake or chew up their time and mine trying to convince them to change their mind. Most consultants and fractional executives know that achieving your goals only happens with a clearly defined, repeatable process that is proven to generate results. It is your responsibility to create a process that leads the right decision makers in your target market to buy from you. Once you have your process, you must ensure that your prospects follow it or you will have a low conversion rate. To establish control over your buying process, follow these three tips. One, speak first. Two, set the agenda, but ask if your prospect has anything they want to add. And three, drive the transition from one agenda item to the next, being mindful of how much meeting time has passed and how much time you'll need to finish the rest of your agenda before time runs out. And don't forget that the last item on your agenda is a call to action asking your prospect to take the next step in your buying process, assuming you're still interested in working with them. Number two, establish empathy. Imagine you're the prospect looking to retain a consultant to help you address a critical business issue that is both important and urgent. You talk to two consultants. The first consultant is recognized by all as being the very best at what they do. Their brand and reputation puts them head and shoulders above every other consultant you could consider. Their references are stellar and their testimonials are glowing. But when you talk with them, you can't shake the feeling that they don't really understand your situation. While you don't doubt their expertise, you don't feel like they understand what's at stake if you can't get this issue satisfactorily resolved. The second consultant is the definition of average when it comes to their knowledge, skills, and expertise. While they are very nice and easy to talk to, they don't blow you away in terms of how good they are like the first consultant did. However, they understand deeply the situation you're in. They resonate completely with what success and failure means to you. It's like they're living in your head. At times, they seem to know you better than you know yourself. Which consultant are you gonna hire? 99.9% .9 of the time, you'll hire consultant two. What good is all the knowledge, skill, and expertise if the consultant doesn't understand you, your situation, and what's at stake? How confident are you that the consultant will apply this impressive capability in the manner you need to get you the outcome you really want. Empathy trumps expertise each and every day. Now to establish empathy, follow these three tips. One, become an empathetic listener. Two, 
get the prospect to tell you their gap between where they are and where they want to be without you being judgmental or critical. And three, get your prospect to articulate the outcomes they desire and need. And number three, establish your bona fides and give a taste of how it would feel to work together. The first half of your meeting with your prospect is focused on creating empathy. The second half provides confidence that you have the chops to deliver the result they want and gives them a taste of what it would be like to work with you. Empathy gets you 80% of the way there, but the prospect's confidence in your ability to get the job done and their belief that working with you will be enjoyable seals the deal. The trick is to do all of this without coming across as arrogant and judgmental. You're providing a complimentary consultation, not giving a sales pitch. As someone with expertise, insight, and perhaps even wisdom in your field, you should have a good idea as to the cause and the solution to the prospect's issue. Before you meet, write down three key areas that will most likely need to be addressed to resolve their issue. Now, based on the time you have left, you must at a minimum discuss the most important area. Ideally, you'll get to two, and if time permits, you'll cover all three. If you have time left and you've hit all three areas, end early or you'll overwhelm your prospect. Here's a simple process for conducting your consultation. Ask the prospect what they are doing with respect to the first and most important topic on your list that will need to be addressed to solve their issue. Ask the prospect how satisfied they are with the results they are getting from how they are executing on this topic. Give the prospect a diagnosis or explanation of why they are getting the results they are. Tell them how common or rare their experience is based on your work with your clients. Provide tips and tricks and best practices that are effective based on your client experience. Focus on the what, not the how. They haven't retained you and you aren't here to solve their problem. Your goal is to indicate that you have the expertise, insight, and wisdom required to successfully address their issues. And lastly, repeat this process for up to three topics until you're out of time. Own the process that couples creating empathy with the confidence that you can take your prospect on a positive, if not enjoyable, journey out of the desert and into their promised land. They will now see you as irresistibly different and the only consultant they will want to work with to achieve the success they desire. Contact me to talk about how to create and own a buying process that will convert over 75% of the prospects you want to work with to paying clients without having to sell. Consultants and other providers of expertise as a service lose too many sleepless nights worrying about where their future clients and revenues are going to come from. You've been told over and over that if you want more clients, you have to do more marketing, more networking, more LinkedIn outreach, more email blasts, and even hiring appointment setters to do more cold calling. What if instead you could get more clients by doing less marketing? Maven works with its clients to generate all the referrals they need to not only be fully booked, but to have a pipeline that takes the worry away on where their future business is coming from. Maven's the referral ability edge Do It With You advisory service takes you from random acts of marketing to powering your business with referrals and even all the way to becoming remarkably referrable where you go from doing the work to a highly compensated CXO whisperer. So email j.kingley at referabilitymaven.com to schedule an introductory call to learn more.